Hello everyone, welcome to Train, where we make AI simple for you. My name is Kieran, and I'll be your instructor for today. In today's episode, we're going to teach you how to prompt Copilot to perfection so you can maximize its efficiency within your workflow. Before we get into this, all the information we're about to speak about is coming straight from Copilot Lab, which is Microsoft's platform for users to learn more about prompting and the features that can be found in each Microsoft application. Okay, so let's get right into it. Before you become a Copilot expert in the Microsoft suite, you must learn how to prompt. With a great prompt, you will get the most out of Copilot and truly maximize its potential of making you more efficient at work. Microsoft has laid out the formula for a perfect prompt in this visual. So let's walk through it together. The first step of creating a prompt is writing out the goal. This should answer what you exactly want from Copilot. An example given, this would be, I want a list of three to five bullet points to prepare me. Now we have our goal completed. Let's move on to step two, context. This is where we need to list what is the need and who is involved. In the example, this is for an upcoming meeting with John Doe, focusing on their current state and what they're looking to achieve. Next, we have to list our expectations. This part is very important because Copilot is going to tailor its response based on how you complete this part of your prompt. For our current example, we will say respond with a tone that is friendly but authoritative. Now Copilot knows what I want for my prompt, it can be as helpful as possible for my current situation. We have reached our last step of prompting, listing the source. So here we will state the information or source we want our Copilot to use. For the example, it would be, and focus on email and Teams chats with John Doe over the last month. Let's put it all together now, and our prompt is, I want a list of three to five bullet points to prepare me for an upcoming meeting with John Doe, focusing on their current state and what they're looking to achieve. Respond with a tone that is friendly but authoritative and focus on email and Teams chats with John Doe over the last month. This prompt will give us a clear and concise answer now that we utilize all necessary steps to build a strong prompt. Here's another visual on Copilot Lab that shows an example of a great prompt broken down into the four steps of building a strong one. This prompt is similar to the one we just went through as it says, generate three to five bullet points to prepare me for a meeting with a client X to discuss their phase three brand campaign. Focus on email and Teams chat since June. Please use simple language so I can get up to speed quickly. You want to always make sure your prompt is clear and you stay away from being vague or interrupting Copilot when utilizing its capability. So moving on from prompting, Copilot Lab has so many other unique videos and helpful resources that are really helpful to jumpstart your Copilot journey. As you can see here, they have a start your Copilot journey section where they give you so many short videos that give you simple explanations of Copilot if you're now starting. Moving on down this page, they have a co-pilot in your everyday app section that can show you examples of how to prompt in the Microsoft suite. As you can see here, if you click the Excel tab, it gives you a nice rundown of Copilot in Excel and also the option to try it in Excel, which I thought was really neat. I recommend all Copilot users to check each tab out to learn how they can maximize their Copilot subscription in all applications in the Microsoft suite. Next, they have two very helpful prompting sections that have a whole bunch of prompts for users to try out and the proper technique to do it, which I highly recommend checking out for each Copilot user to practice. As I mentioned before, learning to prompt is the most beneficial skill you can learn when using Copilot if you want to really enjoy the benefits. Lastly, towards the end of the Copilot Lab page, you can find the security and privacy rules for your account and it explains how your data is safe if you're curious. I'd also check out the video tutorials under the Getting Started banner to view easy and beneficial videos on how to use Copilot. Microsoft has definitely made the Copilot Lab a great place to find resources on how to use Copilot to its maximum potential and I truly enjoyed my experience using it. I would definitely recommend all new users to check it out when beginning your Copilot journey to build a good foundation on this amazing new tool. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and please click the like and subscribe button for more Copilot and Chatbot tips. See you next time.